Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'll be presenting Upwafer, a framework that is capable of exploiting unused bandwidth for in-network coordination. So this is a joint work with John Sonjak at Princeton and also my advisor, Professor Vincent Liu. So as is well known, a primary goal of computer networks is to deliver user traffic among end-to-end -end devices. This user traffic is generated by applications including video streaming, web browsing, file transfer, and so on. Um, at the same time, there's also non-user traffic, um, which carry control messages, probes about network states, such as link utilization, keep alive probes uh, about like keep alive hard bits about failure detection, and so on. For these non-user packets, um, in some cases, they, they are sent over dedicated out-of-band networks. More often, um, they purposefully multiplex the same network for efficient resource utilization and phase sharing. Um, for instance, to obtain accurate measurement about the network state, um, active probing assumes that the probe packets carry, uh, experience the same network conditions as user packets. When it comes to multiplexing the network resources with extra non-user traffic, a natural trade-off question is, should we use more bandwidth for the fidelity of control applications that would have been leveraged for, uh, to deliver non-user traffic, uh, to deliver user traffic? Um, we notice that such choices are common in many networking applications. For instance, in the case of um, clock synchronization messages, higher synchronization frequency may enable better clock synchronization preci precision, yet at the cost of extra impact to user packets. What's more, uh, many of these protocols configure these messages to be high priority. That means they directly cut into the network capacity. Because of this, Today, the rate of these messages are typically configured to be low enough so that um, to prevent this impact. Similar situations apply to uh, cases such as, um, um, such as failure detectors, congestion notification, inbound telemetry, and so on. In this work, we ask a more fundamental question. Um, are these trade-offs even necessary? More specifically, uh, can we enable a mechanism that both um, coordinate at fight high fidelity, at the same time incur little to no zero overheads? Our approach is to exploit every gap in between user packets at the granularity of hundreds of nanoseconds by injecting idle packets carrying customizable information uh, across devices. Upweaver is driven by the observation that gaps between uh, at less than microsecond resolution are ubiquitous in today's user traffic. What are these gaps? Um, usable gaps between devices or packets can occur for many reasons. Uh, this include burstiness nature of application level traffic patterns, uh, effects of TCP rate control protocols, structural asymmetry, and so on. In fact, prior studies have also shown a similar observations. In the end, Microsecond level interpacket gaps are ubiquitous, even in networks that apply custom TCP protocols, complex traffic engineering or prioritization schemes, and primarily handle large bulk data transfers. To exploit those gaps, Opweaver introduces weave string abstraction, which is essentially a union of user and idle packets traversing um, arbitrary link between two network devices. From the perspective of someone sitting at the edge of a link, it appears to be a continuous string of packets um, that where the gaps between the user packets are padded with idle packets. More precisely, Obweaver enforces two additional guarantees. The first requirement is predictability. No link stays unutilized for too long. In other words, the interval between any two consecutive packets is bounded by a threshold whose optimal value is said to be the inter-packet gap for fully utilized link. In the case of a 100 gigabit link, as shown in this graph, uh, and also assuming MTU size to be 1,500 bytes, this value is 120 nanoseconds. Second, the weaved idle packets should not impact or uh, decrease the effective throughput of user traffic, increase the loss rate, or, uh, or the power draw of the switch. We found that Opweaver's weave stream abstraction brings in significant benefits. It allows us to implement a wide range of applications, such as failure detection, clock synchronization, um, con congestion notification, and so on. 
So it turns out that um, Obweaver enables this with negligible impact to existing throughput, latency, or power draw. At first glance, this sounds like an um, idea that is far-fetched. However, we know that a similar abstraction already exists at the data link layer, uh, namely the idle characters, which is often used for uh, Ethernet robust failure detection. So we know that moving such abstraction to higher layers of the network stack is feasible. Uh, in particular, Obweaver leverages a combination of features uh, in today's programmable switch platforms, including its programmability, building features such as uh, rapid plane generators, uh, replication engine, flexible configuration of priorities and buffer usage, and so on and so on. So as a result, uh, this higher level of abstraction allows us to generalize this, the applications far beyond failure detection. For the rest of the talk, I'll start with walking through the background on the back, uh, data plane architecture of today's programmable switch, and then describe uh, the we've seen generation mechanism. We'll also give an example application among many others. Before delving into Obweaver's weave stream abstraction, um, here is a conceptual diagram of programmable switches. So at a high level, a packet enters one of the Ethernet ports, and its header is extracted by programmable parser, and, uh, and then after ingress processing, it gets handled by traffic engineering manager, which decides whether it should be buffered or a buffer package should be in queue for transmission. Um, this also includes an optional replication um, mechanism uh, of its descriptor by uh, so-called like PRE uh, for multicast and the scheduling on per port egress ports for egress processing. Okay, so now how to generate a wave string? It turns out that there is actually a built-in data plane packet generator in today's programmable switches that is integrated into the architecture of uh, the pipeline. So um, using it, uh, the first naive idea is just to leverage this to generate the, um, the we a string of idle packets for all egress ports. This seems to work as even there is no user packets, the inter-packet gap will no longer uh, will not be no greater by the configured threshold. While the predictability requirement is satisfied, unfortunately, the naive strategy will overwhelm the packet generator uh, if the switch ports are fully utilized. What's more, contention happens when you have user traffic. And this could happen at multiple points of the switch, as shown in this diagram, and the impact is bidirectional between the user packets and also the idle packets. For the next few minutes, I will describe how uh, the high-level intuition on how Obweaver handles each of them. First, instead of sending the target rate directly at the packet generator, uh, Obweaver's weave string abstraction begins with a constant predictable low rate um, string of seed packets. Then this stream is multicast to the target uh, rate for all the egress ports. So this addresses the issue of scaling packet generator capacity to all ports uh, of the switch. However, we'll waste significant capacity and crowd out the normal packet multicast. To address the issue, Obweaver adds a selective filtering step based on oversampling of the C stream. So we'll not dive into details here, but at a high level, uh, the idea is to leverage a single stateful register of n bits, where n is the number of ports, um, in the ingress pipeline to recall whether we have sent a packet to the corresponding port during the past cycle. So if either we have sent idle packet or user packet, or um, basically if the target rate for the port is less than the maximum of the switch, in both cases, we don't multicast the seed packet to the corresponding port. By doing so, we prevent the unnecessary instances of idle packets towards the uh, traffic manager and egress pipeline processing. As mentioned, there are multiple forms, uh, multiple forms of contention at the ingress pipeline, uh, at the ingress parses, if the ingress parser queues for the external user packets are full, uh, the schedule of seed packet may be delayed, uh, impacting the predictability of the weave string um, later. So, uh, and also second, even with selected amplification approach that we described in previous slides, um, under worst cases, there might still be contention between the idle packets and user packets, which may impact the latency or throughput of the user packets. 
To resolve these contentions, Obweaver leveraged the rich traffic management uh, configurations available in today's programmable switches. So the paper contains more details, but in the end, Obweaver is able to preserve the predictability of the weave streams the guarantees and guarantees there is zero impact of user traffic throughput and their buffer usage. And the impact of the user packet latencies is restricted to only edge packet instances and therefore negligible. We implement an Obweaver prototype on a pair of fully connected program, programmable switches. So using this implementation, um, we found that there is little to no uh, impact over the power draw latency throughput of the user packets while guaranteeing the predictability of the weave stream with more details in the paper. We found that Obweaver enable uh, benefits a wide range of applications. So here is a non-exhaustive list of protocols and applications that may benefit from Obweaver. So fundamentally, um, Obweaver's uh, predictability attributes allows the data plane applications to infer network information uh, such as like presence of congestion or failures in the upstream paths. Moreover, Obweaver's um, also like its free idle packets allow the data plane applications to disseminate information without consuming the usable bandwidth. So this includes like data transfer between directly connected devices and also across the, networks, uh, across the wider network. In all these applications, Obweaver has the potential to maintain their efficacies while eliminating their message overheads. Concretely, we explore three example use cases in the paper, uh, namely failure detection, cross synchronization, and microloading balance, and show that Obweaver redesign could eliminate their, their messaging overheads while maintaining, their, uh, maintaining the same or even better performance of the application. So here is one of the examples. Like, uh, as, as is well known, like clock synchronization is a common task in networking. The most common approach shown in this diagram is basically to compute the offset based on these two-way protocols using pre periodic high-priority echo messages. Today's approaches, uh, either achieving high precision, either require special hardware, for instance, DTP, or uh, that, that basically embeds the timestamp information into the Ethernet layer idle characters or it requires messaging overheads. Again, to achieve high precision, often we need faster echoes to bound the clock offset um, due to the, pre fre the continuous frequency drifts. Moreover, the uncertainties in the queuing delays could cause inaccuracies uh, in the clock synchronization. As a particular example of this, in programmable switches, we notice that the data plane timestamp might involve the variable delays as a result of the egress MAC contention. So this might cause the inaccuracies uh, of time synchronization. With Obweaver, we're able to eliminate the message overheads, as we mentioned, and also achieve high precision. The paper contains details, uh, more details, but there are two key ideas. The first idea is to leverage the free idle packets to carry the timestamp information namely the R2 property you mentioned before. And the second idea is to use the R1 predictability attributes to infer the queuing delays based on the idle packets and only use the results with no contention to avoid such inaccuracies. In the end, we noticed that an Obweaver redesign could eliminate the messaging overheads while preserving similar or better performances under, even under high loads. To summarize, uh, Obweaver introduces the weave stream abstraction to harvest idle cycles at hundreds of nanosecond granularity. We show that with this opportunistic coordination is sufficient to approximate recently proposed protocols uh, while maintain, eliminating their message overheads. In other words, different applications don't always need to choose between fidelity overhead, uh, f co coordination fidelity, and bandwidth overheads. Uh, the code will be open source soon, and thank you so much for your attention.